Hey guys, this is Sissy New for part one of my uh, 40 week bump update. Sorry, you don't have to bear with me because I'm doing breakfast this morning. And, um, slow down. And, oh, I'm just basically exhausted. I have had a lot of using the restroom this week and headaches have started I'm hoping them will pass um he has dropped lower I can feel he has dropped lower I don't know if the doctor told me that or not but that's what it feels like yeah and heartburn it's pretty rough. I've been trying to drink some ginger tea. Um, I drank some Sunday night, and I was having contractions anyway. I said, what the heck, I'll try it. Well, I ended up having contractions all night Sunday night. The real ones. Not the fake ones, the real ones. And I laid down, and um, they just went away. I went to bed. Okay, Monday... I had some, but not a whole lot. They went away. Tuesday, I didn't have a thing until Tuesday night, last night. And I didn't feel them until I woke up. So, evidently, they weren't that bad. And when I woke up, Buster was behind my back. So, evidently, he was putting off heat because he knew I was having them contractions. And he's moving good. He, he's really active. Um, I know a lot of people are telling me to walk. I have walked. I have done, um, what is it? Pregnancy induced labor dances on YouTube. I am exercising. But um, I think I ended up pulling a muscle in my leg because... My leg's hurting, so I think I'm not going to do the dances today because my foot hurts. I'll just walk or whatever, but everybody's saying walk, walk, walk. I've been walking. He gets on coming out. But it's got to be coming soon because I've been having more contractions since Sunday. Off and on. And before, I wasn't having any. So... Oh, I'm so tired. It's, and I've been getting up last night. I got up almost all night. I didn't get no rest at all. And I got an appointment today at 3.15. And I kind of dread what he says. I'm kind of afraid to ask him if he'll strip my membranes. Because, I mean, if I'm having contractions and I'm dilating and I'm moving forward, I don't see the hurt of stripping the membranes to help it on later on go because, one, I don't like Pitocin. And with her, I wasn't dilating like I was supposed to, so I'm scared to death I'm not going to dilate like I'm supposed to with him without that drug. And... That stuff, with that and the epidural, they counteract each other. And all I remember is just throwing up with her. And it was just, ugh. Plus, every, every one of my family members, where she was the f first baby on, that we had, they were there. I mean, it felt like I was in a zoo giving birth, everybody watching, and I'm like, oh God, please don't let it be like this this time. I would say that now, that's how I felt. <laughs> yeah, you got pop torn all over you. You know what's gonna happen? You're gonna be heavy down. Uh-huh. You're gonna have to be. You need a bath. Hang on, I'll show you guys. Let's see. Let's see? She eating pot top. It all in her hair. Is that how you know it's good? Is that what Papa used to say? I'm gonna get that all out. Uh, but anyways, 
I put a bump date. Ooh. It's my back. Um, on Instagram, so I'm not going to stand up where I'm just going to out. Did you do it? See her hands. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyways, I made it to 40 weeks. And if I have any progress, yeah, I will update y'all. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I hear you. I hear you. And I hope you have a wonderful week. Talk to you guys later. Bye.